Okay, hello everyone. So welcome. Today I would like to cover how to install Brownie for blockchain development. So what is Brownie? Brownie is a Python-based development and testing framework for smart contracts targeting the Ethereum virtual machine. It's a very powerful and yet fairly simple to use uh, package. So all code starting with the dollar sign is meant to be run on your terminal. Code starting with the three arrows is meant to run inside the Brownie console. And we'll get into that later. Uh, Brownie has its own console with its own set of commands, which makes it uh, very powerful and easy to use. So what are some of the features? So Brownie offers full support for Solidity and Viper, contract testing via PyTest, including trace-based coverage evaluation, property-based and stateful testing via Hypothesis, powerful debugging tools, including Python-style tracebacks and custom error strings, a built-in console, which I mentioned earlier, for quick project interaction, support for ETH, PM packages. All right. So what do we need to to get this going? So we're going to need terminal in Windows or Mac. I'm going to be using Windows PowerShell terminal inside Visual Studio. And what do we need to have installed? What are the prerequisites? So we're going to need Node.js, Node Package Manager, or NPM. Ganache-CLI, which stands for Command Line Interface, and Python greater than or equal to version 3.6. And then we're going to use pipx to install Brownie. So ensure that you have these installed prior to moving forward, um, but we're going to do the rest of it together. These you can find online just by searching uh, installed Node.js on Google, and you should be able to get that installed pretty easily on your machine. All right, so moving forward, so let's do some installation and checking. First, we're going to check what Node version we have. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come over to my terminal inside Visual Studio here, paste that in, and we can see I've got version 16.2.0, so we're good there. And we're going to do npm or node package manager version. I'll paste that in. I can see here we've got 7.13.0, so we're looking good there. All right, moving forward. The next thing we want to do is install the Ganache uh, CLI. So Ganache is a local blockchain we can use for development. So it gives us a local blockchain to play around with and deploy contracts and all that good stuff. So we're going to do npm install dash g ganache cli. All right, I'm going to paste that in. And there we go. So mine went super fast because I've already got it installed. So take a minute, maybe pause the video, get yours installed, and come back. All right, I'm going to go ahead and check my version. Copy this, and it's going to be ganache dash cli dash dash version. So I'm going to hit that, hit enter on that, and here you can see I've got ganache cli version 6.12.2 with a ganache core of 2.13.2. So that's installed. So now we're going to check for Python. I'm going to go Python dash dash version and enter and we've got python 3.9.5 installed and we said we'd like to have 3.6.0 or higher installed so we're good now we're going to go ahead and um, make sure we have pipx installed so you're going to need to do that over here you're going to go to https colon slash slash pypi.org slash project slash pipx so you can find that there all right so now i'm going to go ahead and install pipx and i should already be good on mine and let's 
can say requirement already satisfied. And there's a few issues, few warnings, but I believe we're fine. We can ignore those for now. I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's uh, the right path. It's installed, so I'm going to clear this out first. And then I'm going to paste it in. And, all right. So now it says all pickbex binary directories have been added to path. If you're sure you want to proceed, try again. Blah, 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 blah. Otherwise, pipex is ready to go. So um, we have already installed it, is what this is telling us. So we're good to go here. So we need to, um, we're going to restart the terminal. As you can see here, it says, no, you may need to restart your terminal after installing Pipex. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to kill the terminal, come back here, and we're going to do terminal. And we're going to move on to the finality, which is installing Brownie. So we're going to use Pipex to install Brownie. I'm going to grab it here, paste it in here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. So for mine, it says ETH Brownie already seems to be installed. So I am good. All right. So now, if I just type the word Brownie, it'll give me a list of commands. So here, here's all our commands, which is great. So we've got init, bake, PM, compile, console, test, console, test, run, accounts, networks. So these are all some of the commands you can run inside the console. All right. We'll get into that a little later.